morning reception, it's time for phonics and first thing we're going to do is practice our phase three tricky words, okay? Because we need to keep these things ticking over in our brains. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. She. He. Be. We. Me. Her. My. All you was are they. Good. Hopefully you could read those super fast. Okay, because you've just got to learn them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do uh, is having a go at writing some... Um, words with adjacent consonants at the beginning. If you're writing words with adjacent consonants, it's helpful to draw yourself a phoneme frame. Okay, so you can draw one like this. Oh, well that's a wonky phoneme frame. Or you can find them on the internet. Okay, but my class, hopefully by now, I've remembered to send you one um, on tapestry. Okay, right, so, the first word we're going to write with adjacent consonants at the beginning is... I'm going to give you a clue. Are you ready? Oh, hang on. A crab, obviously. I was being a crab. Right, everybody say crab. Crab. And now we're going to segment it. Okay, it's really hard. Crab. So that the uh, adjacent consonants are at the start. Crab. Okay, well done. Watch your toes, don't want them to nip you. Okay, the next word we're going to write, staying on the animal theme for now, is frog. And I'm not going to do an impression of a frog this morning. Okay, so everyone say frog. Get your teeth around it. Frog. Frog. The adjacent consonants are at the start. Can you separate them? Are you ready? Fr, fr, fr. It's so hard because they kind of run into each other, don't they? Fr, and then the last bit's easy. Og. Frog. Frog. Good. Okie dokie. Okay, and the last one we're going to do is twig. So I'll say twig, twig, and can you segment it? Say it, segment it. Twig. Two. So those two consonants are at the start. Can you separate them? Tw. 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 Twig. Well done, twig. Okie dokie. Right, so that's all the words we're practicing writing today. Um, just on their own and now we're going to have a go at writing a sentence oh this is a hard one because this has got a polysyllabic word at the end which means there's more than one syllable in it so it's not just a short word it's a bit of a longer word so I'd like you to write it's also got a phase four tricky word in I have a crab in my pocket well that sounds silly but I have a crab in my pocket now if you do go to the beach anytime soon, please do not put a crab in your pocket because it might nip your fingers and it should stay on the beach where it lives. Okay, I'm going to leave you to write that while I have a little coffee with Mrs. Lawson. Cheers! A socially distanced coffee. Well, I know Mrs. Lawson, I said that too. I said the way they're going with these phonics videos, they're doing really well and before we know it, they're going to be writing novels, really big storybooks and people, you know, people can be amazing. And then I'm going to set up my phonics museum and I'll say I had that child's work in my phonics museum before he was famous. I know. Yeah. That's true. I said that. They're absolutely amazing children. Oh, hi everyone. Sorry, have you finished? Uh, I was just having a, a socially distanced coffee with Mrs Lawson and it definitely is safe because she's not even here. I was just talking to myself. Which, um, some people say, it means you're a little bit crazy, but 
I don't think so. I think it just means that you've been in lockdown for a long time. Okay, great. Show me your sentences. Three, two, one. Show me. Love them. Beautiful. They're definitely going in my museum. Okay, right. Uh, take care and be good for your grown-ups, please. See you soon. Bye.